All right. Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to look at 7RD and 7VA. You get it. Okay? 7, let's use it. 7 RD is showing a temple push. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to form my thumb. I'm going to rest my thumb in my fingers like this to form a nice stable structure. And I'm going to press it under the ear of my opponent. Okay? The point of the thumb under the ear of my opponent. Okay? It's a pain compliance play. It's very uncomfortable and it can help you get other grapples and do other things, right? Fury says that I can use this to get a good grapple or do some of the ones that follow. So just as an example, you know, I can do this if he turns away from me, right? Maybe I can pass him, get behind him, right? Right, maybe he compromises some structure to get rid of the pain, right? Right, what kind of striking opportunities can I get? Tons of stuff, it depends on how he reacts, right? Um, if he reacts at all. Now the counter to this play is for this arm. You, do you see how the arm that the arm that I'm pressing? It's it's my it's my high arm. My arm is over him. Yeah. Although I guess it doesn't matter what it is. The counter to this play is him to elbow pushing, like you saw in seven uh, R C uh, R B rep. So as soon as I see, he feels this, he can elbow push me, right? And he can get behind me. Right? And now we're at 7RA again. Okay? So like, just to show that, you know, it doesn't matter how you how you get to that, that second play there, 7B, uh, 7VA. But um, this is one way. So here we are in the clinch. I give him this pain and he counters it. And we get here. Okay? Now I can correct. Now I, I can try this escape. So the escape in uh, 7VA is when I turn and step behind him, staying stable, and then I bolt the stabilo. Okay? Do it from this side. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, so here it is. So I'm going to I'm going to shift my hips. I'm going to step to that open spot, get stable, and then I'm going to turn. my hips and step to that spot. Okay, if he's holding on to me really tight and he's really he's really grappling me, right? Right? Same thing low, right? The more he holds on to me, uh, the more displacement I get. Okay? And of course it's possible that it's possible to have this turn be a strike of some kind if he's really intent on staying staying straight up. Right? But it's unlikely. Right? It's unlikely. And anyways, then you can follow him or not. Okay? So, 7RD, that last play there, it's one of five or six pain compliance plays in the last half of the wrestling section. Right? You can use it to get lots of stuff. But it can also end up counter with that elbow push. And you can find yourself here. Right? And we, so we see this escape in 7VA. Okay? That's it for today. Thank you very much.